something seems to be going on out here on the north shore of Lake Chapala. I don't know. Looks like the police are there. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Something's going on. They must be looking for something. I don't know, they got their guns pointed out towards the water like, you know, the big guns mounted on the trucks. And there's three trucks. The big guns are pointed out there like they're expecting a armed invasion by sea. That guy's looking for something. I wonder if somebody drowned. There's a group of locals over here look like they might have been swimming. Uh, I hope they're not looking for a body. But they're looking for something. I thought he was using binoculars, but as I zoom in, I see he's just taking a picture with his phone. Guys, guarding in case there's any uh, advance from the shore. Don't know what's going on, but I'll figure it out. Oh, look, now they're lining up the trucks. And they turned the guns around. Ah, turns out. They're just lining up for a photo op. The Mexican National Guard. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, get in the picture. Okay, down in front, down in front, yeah. Mexican National Guard. Hi friends. Let me show you what motivated me to turn on my camera this morning. First of all, I have chickens. <laughs> Actually, the neighbor has chickens, but uh, now I have chickens, which is fine. They eat scorpions. The other thing that motivated me to grab my camera this morning is oh who's here hola hey uh that but here's danny Una pregunta. Este es tu propia dad. <laughs> quiere o quiere o no si sí? okay Más tarde. Más tarde. Dos años pasaron, tú dices más tarde. Ahorita hasta nos salgamos. No problema. Okay. No pasa. No pasa. Ah, oh, llanta, no aire. And there's no, there's no espacio para el gato. And so the English translation for all of that is that uh, there's this piece of metal framing over here <laughs> that belongs to him. And it's been at my place for like five years. And uh, he used to sit over there. Anyway, he used to be the caretaker next door. and He's a welder. He's the welder that did all of the welding... Uh, for all of my windows and doors in the construction of the house. Anyway, uh, the rest of what I told him in Spanish was that um, it's so low that I don't have room to get my bottle jack underneath there. It looks like I'm going to get some help. So, my plan is the plan, esta, a key, and reverse por más alto. Pensa? Mm. 
Ja. Oh. So, Danny's not only an ex-neighbor, he's a friend. He just, uh, by chance, that he happened along here to help me, which is going to be a really good deal. Yeah? Is there another place? Yes. Is there another place? Huh? No. Oh, uh, no. He asked me if I had another jack. The word for jack is gato. Okay, I'm going to shut this off and help. So Danny helped me get it up high enough on there to get the jack underneath the, the part of the frame that needed to be where the jack needed to be. And now I'm going to take the tire off. Well, we got the wheel off. And I wheelbarrowed it back to my shop. Condito's watering the grass. Uh, my mechanic's supposed to be picking up the BMW today. It uh, runs fine at high RPM, but it doesn't idle very well, so... Uh, he's supposed to pick that up today. Who knows how many days that'll take, but he knows I like to drive that little car, so he'll be working on it. <coughs> uh, going into my workshop, I call this the TV room. Uh, a second guest room, that's a Murphy bed over there. My workshop. And I have the tire there in the wheelbarrow. The bead is broken. I think it was just low and the bead broke when I turned the corner on the rocks. But I'm going to see if I can put air and put it right back in there because taking the taking the uh, spare tire off my van is a, that's another whole job so anyway I have to put the camera down while I hook up the air compressor Well, the long and short of that problem is that I did get it aired up, but by throwing it in the swimming pool, and it floated, <laughs> I did find that there was a leak. So I put it back on the van, and I took it up the street a few blocks to my guy that fixes tires, and he took it off, and he fixed it. And um, he didn't just put a plug in it. He took the tire off the rim, he opened it up, and he put a heat-activated um, tire patch on the inside of the tire, which is exactly what we used to do 60 years ago when I worked at the Texaco station when I was in high school. Anyway, um, the charge was, and let me preface that by saying a year ago I had a flat tire on my Suzuki sidekick up in the United States. I think I was somewhere around uh, Bullhead City, Arizona. And the charge was $28. My guy here charged me 80 pesos, which is, with the exchange rate, about $4. And he did a good job. And he aired up all the rest of my tires to what I asked him to do. So... The van is back on the road. I see something interesting out here in the driveway. It's a squirrel. He's got an itch. And what do you do about it? You have a dirt bath. Yeah. Well, got all tidied up. Let's see if we can find something to eat.
he's checking out a guamucho. I don't think he's finding anything because they're all dried up and empty, but whatever. The squirrels here are different. They drag their tail instead of it sticking up in the air like the ones back where I used to live. And they're all kind of model colored. I don't know. They're kind of different. They're not whatever. There you go. Mexican squirrel. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.